I'm always going to start by covering my paper with a layer of Conte dust. I'm just sanding here. I've got 120 grit sandpaper. This is a heavy paper. This is mixed media paper. You want to make sure you actually use toilet paper, not something else. You don't want to use paper towels. You don't want to use tissues. Toilet paper is the nice, happy medium. I'm going to do another layer. I usually always do two layers. So the first layer is a warmer one, and the second layer is a slightly darker one. So this is more like an umber color. And the reason for that is that you can get some really great transparency effects. Whatever I didn't cover now with that red sanguine, I'm going to cover with this brown. I'm just smoothing this out. This time I'm going even a little bit softer. If you really covered that paper well in the first layer, then you're going to leave some residue. This is going to be like it's just sitting on the surface. It's not even it's not even getting blended into the paper in some of these areas. So that's going to be really great for getting some transparency. So if I was to press harder into that, you can see like right here, see that little streak I left behind? That's where you can see it's actually still left on the surface. Now I'm using my red. This is the lighter of the two colors. I'm going to use this just to get this general shape here. I've got got my skull up on a stand right over there, putting that halfway point in place so that way I can get something solid to start working from. And then I'm just looking for these bigger shapes. I kind of put this in very loose and I'm drawing very softly, but then I'm going to start to just scratch in those shadows. I'm going to go softly over the surface like this and I'm using kind of the side of my Conte crayon. Wherever I see shadows, I'm trying to just fill in that space as quickly as possible. I'm not paying too much consideration to the the kind of detailed proportions. I really just want to fill in any area that I see some shadows and move as quickly as possible. So you can see this is kind of starting to look like a skull, at least from my perspective it is. And I'm just going to scratch everywhere that I can possibly find those shadows. This is going to be a point where I can choose, you know, do I want to start smoothing it out like I'm doing right now with the paper or do I want to start putting the highlights in? That's going to depend a little bit on how confident I am with that shape that I already put in place. Now I'm gonna go with my kneaded eraser. I gotta pull it apart a little bit more here, get it, get it kind of warmed up. So you can see I've kind of flattened it out here. I'll do something like this, get a big flat shape. See how big of a square I can take out? That was maybe a little bit too extreme, but you get the idea, especially with a portrait, you're gonna want something more like that. So I'm just moving along here. Same thing as what I was doing with that crayon. I'm looking for the big shapes. If I see light, I'm taking away some of the Conte off the surface. You need to understand these big shapes, how to get these big shapes in place. If you can do that, painting is gonna be a whole lot easier. And I can also start to use things like this. I can start to use my finger to blend. I can use the Conte that's already there, the stuff that I put on gently, that I was just scratching in. I can start to reshape that. I can push that back out and start to get edges. You see that? We can just do the same thing again. I can start kind of scratching out that shape again, I'll start to get things a little bit more refined. Maybe I start to add a line here or there if it's necessary, maybe in here in the nose, I want to add a line. So I'm just scratching. When I say scratching, I mean that I'm going very softly over the surface. So I'm actually, I'm not scratching into the paper. I'm trying to go very lightly onto the paper. I'm not even putting any weight. You can see here, it's basically balancing on my finger like this. I'm using my thumb to basically just stabilize. I'm just letting this drag across the surface. I'm not really even pressing into the surface. You can actually layer this Conte. It's really dusty. So you can bring some of the Conte transparently over top of itself. It's something you can get that's really powerful is if you wait until the end to use that darker color, then it will really stand out. If you're basing your lights and your midtones off of your lighter color, when you bring that dark in, it's going to make everything glow.